Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. Black Heart of Sign of Black in again, asking you to hit that share button because the message is more important than the messenger. I said in the last one that I was going to talk uh, to those who have been paying so-called pickup artists uh, and dating coaches. This is a message that those in my normal audience can and should share uh, with those who they know. Because we all know some guy that's having trouble. Now, we all know many more guys that are having trouble than guys who are succeeding. There's a reason for that. You don't have to take a study to know that. But the genetic studies have also been done and have shown that there's a few guys that succeed with a bunch of women and most guys uh, succeed with very few. And then there are still more guys, more than the successful men that never succeed at all. The ones who never succeed on one extreme still outnumber the ones who succeed with the majority of the women. Studies have shown what we already know anecdotally, which is that uh, it's skewed so that more men will fail and more women will not. I also think that this has led to genetic bottlenecking in more populations than ours, but that's another topic for another time. If you're in my normal audience, you get there are several men uh, you know with whom you can share this. Please do. Please do. To the men that have had trouble with women, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that some of what I'm going to say is not biased. I mean, it is true, I am a Muslim, and so I don't promote fornication. I don't promote marriage in the West, per se, but I don't have anything against marriage overall. Just don't do it in jurisdictions where your rights are curbed. And when I say your rights, I mean the right to marry two, three, or four. If that one is curbed, don't marry in that jurisdiction. Just bounce. But what I'm going to say is this. Before you decide that you're going to pay somebody to teach you how to uh, appeal to the opposite gender. Understand the games that the opposite gender has been playing. Understand the games that women play in the West. What's in their best interest is for them to find the few men that they all want because they pretty much want the penis uh, for which there is plenty of competition. That's when they just want to pull the panties down and have him dig her out. When she knows other women want the same thing. When he's been pre-selected, pre-validated by other women, she will then want to join those ranks. So they're going to gravitate towards the same few men. And they're going to treat these men very unequally. They're going to treat these men um, not as less than equal, but as though they're exceptional. And these men do not have to do the things to become exceptional that women have told you you have to do. These men do not have to show up with flowers. They do not have to be romantic. They do not have to plan the perfect evening out. And they don't have to spend a lot of money. They've been getting draws for free compared to you. Or for very little. And from women, you would think are not like that. So before you go and you pay some guys, let me tell you what the men are going to tell you. These men are going to tell you that you need to be more alpha. They're going to tell you that you need to go to the gym, take care of yourself. They may tell you to check uh, into your hygiene. They're going to tell you things that are right, but for the wrong reasons. When you do these things, you will benefit personally, but that does not mean that these things are going to lead to you being um, chosen and selected more by more women, let alone by more attractive women. Now, it may decrease the hostility in some of their reactions, but it's not necessarily going to do what you are hoping it would do. Now, if you go to the gym and you get results, um, understand that's going to take a lot of time and that's going to cost money in the memberships. But you would, after a while, when you start to see the results physically, yeah, you would start to see some of the results um, otherwise because a lot of women in the gym are married and there will be those of them who would come and they would start to try to get you on the side. But in many cases, that's not what you've wanted. And I don't blame you. I cannot, com uh, I cannot encourage you to commit fornication to be the one with whom she cheats on her husband if that happens 
then you will wind up married and she will cheat on you. And if you don't accept that, you may still be cheated on. These men are going to tell you that you're simply not man enough or that you didn't appear man enough. They're not going to tell you that you should do these things for the sake of your health. Then you should step abroad going outside of Western nations in general to look for better quality women. They aren't explaining this to you. They should, but they will not. The best thing for them to do for their own pockets is to stretch out what they do know bit by bit and get you to pay more and more. And some of them aren't even going to be very diplomatic about it. They're going to always cut you off. There's one I could tell you, they're going to always cut you off. And they're going to they're going to really talk big in their personal lives. We make moves, not excuses, things like that. Well, we enjoy a challenge. And what I would say to you is regarding them, you say to them, you make moves, but you have to be aware of the excuses that are valid, though you still try. There's a balance and they're not going to strike that balance. You're on one end of the extreme. They're on the opposite end of the extreme. They, they can't tell you where the balance is. They can't say, hey, look, stand here next to me. See how this is. No, instead, they're going to tell you to join the opposite extreme. It's good that you make moves. You also understand when an excuse is valid. They, you don't blame yourself for things that are beyond your control if you have any sense. And that's not what they're going to tell you. They're not going to say to you, look, you've been lied to by women your whole life and that's not your fault. See, that's the thing they can't tell you. They cannot say to you, this is not your fault. You could be in charge of a team at work and one of them is crazy so he screws up they would never say to you that was not your fault they don't know how to say that so save your money if somebody forwarded this to you he's got better sense than the pickup artist because at the end of the day even if you do everything that the pickup artist tells you to do you are still considered plan B not for beta, but you're still considered plan B. In other words, there's somebody she's already wanted to dig out or somebody she's wanted to dig her out and get her pregnant. And then she wants you to take care of another man's kids. That's the end of it at right there. And the other thing that done, this is with the real crux of it. And hear this part closely, blood, because it's more important than anything else. This is what they can't tell you. They cannot tell you, you can never be alpha enough to not be mistreated. Now, granted, being so-called alpha as what they call, which really doesn't exist in the animal kingdom like they say, but being what they consider to be alpha does help you to not be mistreated or to be mistreated less. But no, no, see, actually, if they can get you to take care of another man's kids, they will. But if they get your kids, they're still going to hit you up for child support. That's the other thing they don't tell you. You cannot be alpha enough to escape the effects of what it is that they want and that they don't tell you. If you're going to go through what all they say, then you need to get a vasectomy so that you cannot have kids. And you need to get non-liquid assets um, or, or something that is not subject to be split in the event of a divorce. You need to get an ironclad print up, and I don't know how to make them ironclad. Your lawyer would have to tell you this if you're going to get married to a Western woman. You need to learn the divorce laws of your state. When does she become eligible for alimony and under what conditions? And if she acts like she wants out, you cut everything off before that point. But you do not go to these so-called dating coaches and pickup artists trying to become more alpha, bro shuck that fit because at the end of the day you will never be alpha enough and you will have gone through stuff to become superman in exchange for what a regular run-of-the-mill lois lane who doesn't even act her age let alone mature for her age demanding all from you and offering nothing in return not only i mean demanding not just wanting but demanding and expecting you're going to be dealing with some of these guys and the first thing you need to do is learn how to spot a pickup artist. Now I can, 
I can spot a guy who is a potential pickup artist from a mile away. You may not be able to right off the bat, but I think you should. Uh, I think you should start learning that. Maybe that's something I should record one day. But pretty much, um, the one who sent you this link, shared it with you, is probably a part of my normal audience. You can ask them, and they can give you names if you know them very well. They give you names, and you can listen to how they talk. Uh, sorry, forgive the interruption. When you identify them at that point, or when they tell you who they are, then you start to look for what they have in common. And you'll recognize that kind of speech. You probably heard it a lot in uh, uh, people that are uh, very successful in corporate America, which is good, but um, they will talk as though as though anything other than absolute success is just unacceptable at all times. Uh, kind of talking like Donald Trump, really. Oh, well, this happened. Even if it wasn't within your control, you're fired. That type of thing. You'll, you'll see a similar mindset. And um, avoid everybody like that. Because although they may be able to tell you some things that help you a bit, they're not going to necessarily tell you what's going to help you to the level that if they are really what they say they are, they won't be able to tell you that. The other thing, too, is this man of tomorrow pointed out, they could be subject to legal ramifications for that because they're giving uh, a counseling type of advice without a license. And then the other thing uh, is that uh, you're not gonna see much proof of their own success. I mean, what are they gonna do? Put a, a, a microphone in their pocket, walk up to the hottest chick in the bar and talk to her and let you hear how it goes and then sit down with you and explain it? I mean, that would really be what it would take in order for you to get uh, what they know. That's how we learn every other skill in the world. So why would they not do that for you in this case? Why would they not uh, let you pick where you're going to go, put a microphone in their pocket or voice recorder, and then go chat up and get that number? And then let you hear what happens when they call later on. There are certain things they can't do. They want to walk you through a painstakingly slow process because, frankly, uh, they know doggone well that if they were to really, really let you hear from the beginning to the end, you might actually get infuriated at what they're able to get away with that you're not. And that's the one thing they cannot tell you. I can, but they can't in many cases. Some guys are somewhat pickup artists, but they will tell you the truth about how uh, arbitrary the results are. There do exist such, but right now what you need to know is how to avoid the ones that won't. You will be sold to an undeserving woman. And the funny thing about it is that while you are being sold to her, she still does not have to pay you due. You will pay these men to sell you to her. She will not pay. And that, that's the, one of the biggest games of all right there. They're going to tell you you need to work on game. Yeah, you need to know game so you don't get played by it anymore. It, you really don't uh, owe it to them to learn some sort of mental manipulation and deception to get them to decide on you. You brought the productivity to the table more than likely that they would have gotten on your case about if you didn't bring it. I mean, that's what they're doing to us now. You got no reason. None to go and get one of them to take your money to tell you to go through all these steps through which they don't have to go to get the same result. Don't do it. Don't do it. You can listen to some of them for free anyway, sometimes, just to see how they are. Because one thing they, like I said, at the crux of it, it's always your fault anyway. And who the hell needs to pay for that? when they really had no control over what happened anyway. Man, shock that fit. Tell them they don't have any, if somebody comes to you and says, look, I know this dating coach, let them finish their sentence. And then when they're done talking, you tell them, ask them if they ain't got no better dot gam sense than to come to you with that show bit. Remember what I told you. And get with whoever it is that shared this with you. 
I hope that what I've said one day will no longer be true, but in the meantime, I hope it helps. The blackest man on social media sign and black out. Assalamu alaikum and black male power just cause she don't like it.